Hey everyone, this is Ambir. Let us talk about how to configure AWS on AWS and Terraform. Um, I'm using CentOS Linux. Uh, you can the same thing applies for uh, any Linux that you might be using. Uh, Mac is almost same. Windows, yeah. How to configure environment variables will be a bit different, but most of the concepts will be similar. Uh, same, not identical, but similar. Uh, prerequisites you must have in. Uh, Terraform install and configure. If you don't know how, then go ahead and watch one of my previous videos or just search online, you'll get it. Very simple one. Second one is uh, you should have this working. Okay. So, how to get that working? Pip install AWS CLI. So it's already working for me, right? So what you do is when you run this, it will ask you for AWS Access Key ID. Now, where are you going to get this AWS Access Key ID? Well, if you go to AWS, or uh, if you search where to get AWS Access Key ID and seek access key uh, the name's a bit confusing you know it's access key id and secret access key they should have called it either access key and access key id or access key and access id I mean, it's okay anyway the once you the first hit are uh, is going to be from the aws and if you follow that you get to download a csv file from there the short one is going to be your aws key it's mainly alphanumeric. Uh, well, don't worry about the spelling. And then AWS secret access key will be uh, long alpha numeric special characters. Then region, you can type any region. By default, there will be some, I think, US South or something. Then JSON is by default if you don't select anything. So I'm going to hit enter. So now this is configured. AWS CLI is configured for you. But as you can see, for your sake, uh, to show you how to do it, I configured fake keys here. So I'm gonna be in trouble. So let me go ahead and configure my real keys in the background. Okay, I'm running AWS key here. And then, Alright, awesome. So we are in business now. Let's open your Atom Editor, create a folder called AWS anywhere you want. Go inside the folder. Now I have a Atom plugin. Uh, if you don't know how to set up your Atom or uh, if you have a different setup of Atom, then go ahead and check out one of my uh, previous videos where I have uh, shown you how I have configured my Atom. Okay, so I'm gonna say solarized dark just for the today's mood. Okay, not good. Let's say tomorrow's dark. No, Adam dark. Okay, well, not much of a difference, but whatever. So, um, here I'm going to create a main.tf awesome now let's um, see the first way is if you have um, AWS keys stored in your you know, machine the way I showed you earlier then this is the simplest one that you can do. provider AWS this that's it that is how you configure a provider now then how do we know that it's working okay so i mean even though if it's working it might be like you know it's not actually connecting to aws so here resource aws instance and example now i'm going to name that example. i'm going to name something else i'm going to name name it and big one okay 
I'll just say I will say MB. Hmm? Okay, so the name of the instance or the name of the VM that are the server that I'm going to deploy on AWS is MB. The AMI ID for is this instance type is this. I want to just for the sake of experiment, it's going to be a tiny, teeny, three tier version. So you do Terraform in it. Terraform, then I can do plan. But it's still downloading plugin, so let's wait. Okay. Now Terraform plan. When you are doing Terraform plan, all these things now you get to see. So what we want to do is let us go ahead and and uh, get out. Okay. So configure some outputs. Output. Mm. I'm gonna call it. What should I call it? I'm gonna call it public DNS. Mm. Then value is always this and dollar sign brackets. Then we say go to the resource. Resource, uh, I mean type. It was a resource type. And this is the resource name, that, right? And then you put a dot there, and then you see. You go ahead and search for what do we want? What do we want? What's most interesting? Okay, public IP. Let's go for public IP itself first. Public IP. Public IP. You want to get the public IP. Uh, copy this. Wait paste again now let's say let's get something else instance state now get password data now get network interface id private dns public dns public ip okay uh, i'm gonna get private ip this time okay private ip private ip yeah okay so I'm going to do Terraform plan again. I mean, I can directly do Terraform apply. Uh, we're learning. Let's do all these things the way they are supposed to be done. Not the recommended way of doing it. So, what is Terraform? Again, Terraform is a very good infrastructure as code tool something which if you're trying to achieve infrastructure as code uh, is your target for your organization or for your department or for a project then terraform is the tool that you want to look into and the interesting part is it's not even in ga it's still in beta state i believe yeah still in beta i don't think it's even in 1.0 version yet and still, um, yeah, and already every cloud provider out there, and a lot more other uh, players are implementing it. So there's a great push toward it, towards it. So if you are into DevOps, you definitely want to have a look into it. So now, uh, this is one way of doing it, right? And uh, then I'm going to show you the second way. Uh, you already have your. Um, Okay, so second way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to say provider and her name is going to be AWS and then if you have, I'm going to copy paste some stuff here because I'm lazy I don't type shared underscore credential underscore file equals to this but you might ask okay where did I get this name does this name has to be exactly like this yes the key name has to be this the value can be anything this is something can be anything but usually if you have done AWS configure this is where your credentials are stored by default then you want to give a name to this profile, right? Optionally, you can specify a region 
like this but if you don't do it then it will it's gonna uh, assume the default region anyway so yeah right, so um, just have a note of this okay i'm going to uh copy this control copy here paste it here right so i haven't changed anything right so still i'm going to say terraform plan and we'll see some interesting stuff here It says no changes, infrastructure is up to date. So I mean, I'm not requesting any changes here, right? So what if I am requesting some changes? All right, let's say here, can I make any change here? Volume tags, no. Public DNS, no. Password, data, placement group, uh, key name. Hmm, let's say key name equals to something. Key name is now meow okay m e o w mm. what if i do terraform plan now but actually the key name is more of a what is the attribute but you know i just to show you when it's planning it will now tell you okay it says plan one to add so your infrastructure as code, I mean your entire infrastructure is this, this, this code, and you make any change here, and you say plan, and it will tell you, okay, it uh, has to do one and one to add and one to destroy, and then it will um, go ahead and um, do those changes. The rest of the stuff will remain same. Let's go ahead and do that. Platform apply. There we go. when you're doing it if you have your AWS console open uh, go ahead and uh, keep it open and see what's happening whether it's modifying the existing one or it's destroying the old one and creating a new one and then applying the old one settings to the new one it's very interesting to see go ahead and have a look at it so yeah um, this is a second way of doing are configuring your provider first way is this second way is this hmm what is doing it's still destroying this is the id of my instance anyway so it's destroying that id and we create it with uh, what it's a error launching source between the key pair meow does not exist yes because see i just try to do that because i wanted to show you guys that uh, hey you know uh, uh, you can do some changes when you make some changes it will you can plan it and uh, you can apply it and the uh, same changes will be done but key name is something uh, it's not a change that you can do or it's not a uh, configurable value it's an output it's not an input so how do I know what is an input what is an output now let's uh, bring up fire foxy let's get the firefox rolling now come on firefox okay so uh, terraform AWS instance attributes. I'm just typing whatever. It will auto correct it and I will get the results. Here we go. Hmm, so what is this? These are the arguments. So these are the things that you can configure. Hmm. Oh, okay, I think I can configure CPU core count. Can I? Okay, so let's go ahead and 
Uh, okay, so we are going to do this, right? So let's go ahead and uh, remove this. What does it say? The argument EDBS if true. Oh, well, it is going to be true now. Mm -hmm. Or is there two like this? No. I think universally everyone and all the programmers should come up and uh, sit and sit together and make a decision. Okay, what kind of a true and false are we going to use? True lowercase, true uppercase, uh, within quotes, without quotes. I'll just stick to zero and one. I would say now. Terraform. Apply. Okay. Now, I'm not planning, I'm just applying it. Let's see what happens. One to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. Error launching your EBS software instance are not supported for your requested country. Okay, because that mine is a very like tiny one. It's a free tier stuff, you know. So yeah, I understand. Let me go with this one. Hmm. CP core count cannot parse. Okay, because I have to give an integer there. CPU core count uh, and threads per CPU core per instance type. Okay, let's see for micro how much how far I can go. Control F micro. Wow, okay, I can't do anything. That is sad. Okay, so that is not an option. Let's, um, what else can I configure? Oh, key name is a key pair. Okay, it's also it also can be an attribute and an input. So instance type required all already given. Monitoring it through the launch EC2 instance will have a detailed monitoring enable. Okay, this I think this this for sure we should be able to uh, achieve it. As you can see, I have not prepared this at all. I am playing with it, and I want you to play with me. Play with it, have fun. You know, learning is. After a while, it gets boring if you're not enjoying playing with it. So instead of learning, I would say just play with it. And yeah, because most of the times, what I've realized is I've learned more when I'm playing. Uh, when I was playing, even when I was a kid, or anybody for that matter, when they were playing, they learn a lot than you know, sitting at one place, reading, learning, you know, trying to grasp something because they want to do something with it. Oh, what is it? 172, 185, 175? Hmm, so the IPs did change, okay. 39, triple 1, okay. 13, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 71. As you can see, yep, they get changed. So, we can go ahead and uh, still creating, still creating, creation complete. So, what I can do now, I will remove this. And I will say Terraform, Terraform, apply again. Okay. So yes, all it has to do is disable um, monitoring. So it should remain the same, 185, 171, 185, 171. You might see, okay, in the first instance, here the IP was this. But why is it 185, 171, 1 now? Because when we uh, gave AWS underscore key there, right, uh, we try to give some false or incorrect uh, value there. So before it has to do, it has to apply that, it realized that, okay, I have to go ahead and destroy it and rebuild it. There's no way you know, I can change something because uh, as you can see here, key name is the key name of the key pair to use for the instance which can be managed using the 
AWS key pair resource, right? So this is something which you for which you have to like you know redeploy. So for that, what it did is before it uh, redeploys, it destroyed it, but then it realized that uh oh, I can't uh, have given a wrong value. I'm not smart enough. So yeah. So when I applied again, it created another one, then changed the value. So if I do Control Z now, let's say. And I will just say control terraform apply. I don't want to apply it, I just want to apply. We should still get the same output. Okay, so let me do terraform. Hmm. I don't have to destroy it uh, yet. I can directly go for third one and then destroy it so how do you go ahead and configure terraform for aws well terraform uh, let's say if you want to access some environment variables in your terraform so what do you have to do is you have to append uh, tf underscore var underscore to the environment variable right so what you do is i will first go ahead and let me copy this here okay so as you can see var dot uh, access key and here i will do this as you can see you now it's a longer version of it so here, when I say variable access key and it's empty, so what does that mean? That means I'm not specifying any value. That means our Terraform will, oh, okay, it's blank. So that means it's an OS environment variable. I will go ahead and check all the OS environment variables, which start with tf underscore var underscore, and then they end with access key right or then they have access key in it so in total access tf underscore var underscore access key so anything that matches it it will grab that one and assign and you know, takes that as the face value of that so what i'm doing here is here is the os environment variable terraform fetched from the os environment variable that i have already set and here I am accessing it. I'm saying okay, access key is equal to that this particular variable's value. Secret keys is equal to is this particular variable's value. Region is this, which I don't have to specify because it will take the default. Hmm. Now, what do you think? If I do terraform destroy, will it destroy? Hmm, it says AWS instance, zero to add, one to, um, zero to change, one to destroy. Yes, so it did connect to my AWS. It did, and it is destroying my AWS instance. Well, if you don't know how to set uh, OS environment variables permanently to your environment, how, usually how I do is um, I um, go to, I add my entries as export, uh, my where name is or in this case how I would do is um, for you guys I will do this and what I will do if underscore var underscore this is my secret taxes right so you put this entry in etc environment right or you just do this yep mm, add this to this particular file right edit it and add it and then do export this okay and then do export i'm sorry source this 
So what it, what that will do is it will automatically go ahead and set you in that path. Uh, I mean, every time uh, you want to use these keys, access key and one variables, they will automatically come here, right? They will automatically be accessed from the from the source environment variable file. Oops, sorry, did I close something there? Which I shouldn't have. Don't save. Okay, so there is another bonus though. What I want to do is, I want to create a new file here. I would say provider dot df. Hmm. So then what I will do is, I want to take the simple one. Okay, I will hmm, go ahead and uh, take all this. Paste it here and let me uncomment this one, the top one, the first method. Now let's see what happens. Step on, apply. There's nothing to apply, of course. One to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. Because I'm applying, it says yes. So as you can see, I don't have to, you know, put all of this especially providers in uh, one single file if you have multiple providers uh, you have an AWS instance uh, and then you have in PostgreSQL or MySQL or some database provider or some Redis uh, RabbitMQ provider whatever provider that you have your own custom provider IBM provider Azure Google Pro, you know, Alibaba Pro, what, or whatever provider that you have you can put all those providers here and they will be accessed automatically because Terraform knows uh, and smart enough whatever is in that particular folder is one infrastructure so whatever that is say in that entire you know, folder in the in this directory is one entire infrastructure as code so it will use all of it whatever that is there so for the sake of my credit card let me go ahead and destroy it hooray Yes, sir, we want to destroy it. Please murder it away. Murder that instance. Go ahead. Hmm. Still there, still destroying. Okay, so when I know it's um, okay, let it go on, let it uh, destroy what it has created. So then, what I recommend you is go ahead and uh, get a free AWS account, a Google account, or whatever Google Google provider account, IBM account. Um, play around with that one. You will have fun, right? So uh, thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.